I think it's getting there gradually. I mean, that ultimately that would be the ideal, to be able to treat patients according to the exact variant of bacteria that they are infected with. The problem is still the diagnostics uh, is a bit lagging behind, but there are developments now with whole genome sequencing, for instance, which accelerate um, essentially the discovery of, of, of resistance mutations, which is really what, what we need to know. One of the problems is that Diagnosing the disease is, is one thing. To be able to treat afterwards is, is, a, is a different thing. And there, tuberculosis research overall is, is lagging behind because there are not many new drugs currently available. So antibiotics, most of the antibiotics used today to treat tuberculosis are like between 40 and 50 years old, so really old drugs. And that's one of the reasons that we have this big problem of of drug resistance in tuberculosis. There's now new interest, new research, um, but it's not that quick, right? So you need a lot of time to develop new drugs. And there's another difficulty is that you need to treat tuberculosis with a cocktail of drug. You cannot just use one single drug. You need to combine the drugs to protect and also to reduce the probability of resistance. And uh, so that means one new drug is not sufficient. You really need multiple new drugs and show that they work well in combination. I think clearly we're already moving towards that direction. I mean, just generally, if you look at cancer treatment, as far as I can tell, right, I'm not the expert in, in cancer, but clearly, um, presumably there's a, there's a lot to be gained doing this kind of personalist personalized approaches. And a lot of this kind of science is data heavy, so you need a lot of people who know how to analyze and handle this kind of, of information in order to make sense out of it and ultimately to, to make it usable and understandable for treatment decisions, for instance. And I think it's, I would argue, anticipate that yes, I think more of this will come because technology is just advancing at an amazing speed. And uh, I think the challenge is would really be to uh, make sense out of the data, presumably. But perhaps that's just a question of, of time, hopefully.